Hi guys, uh, yes I'm back again. Like I discussed uh, last time that uh, I'm going to be thinking aloud as I proceed and I move ahead towards my release. 1st of December, World AIDS Day. Uh, why I chose this day was because uh, my first production uh, was my brother Nick Hill that dealt with the stigma of HIV and <clears throat> homosexuality. Uh, first time in India. So uh, that was my first independently produced film. So what we started doing was that we started reaching out to people while the post-production was happening. So don't wait when your post-production is completely over and then you start thinking um, about you know your marketing or alliances about your film. Back then, yes, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter, there was no uh, you know the social media you know revolution uh, wasn't there. We banked a lot on basically yes online with with our website. We had our website going mybrothernickel.com. Um, we started putting out behind the scene images um, and sort of started making people aware of there's a film like this. Um, so what, what happens is that someone who, who gets invested in your theme, you know, will follow you, will, will track you. And today that, that thing has really changed. So there are two ways to go about it. Either you, you know, make them a part of your journey right from the beginning when you've thought of your film. Because the day you think of your film, it's concept, your marketing kicks in. Because even remember, even when you're pitching a concept, you're marketing it. Whether, whether to a producer or whether to uh, the funder or whether to actors and cast and crew, you're selling it an idea. As luck would have had it, our actual journey really started after the release of the film. <laughs> but, uh, but what we did was that we started showing it to some key people who could make a difference. And eventually that did happen. And, and um, I still thank uh, Karan, for, Karan Johar for watching the film and putting in a word with uh, Yashraj and uh, Aditya uh, saw the film and they came on board as distributors and at that stage to get a brand like YRF to, um, to distribute to our film was a big thing. The landscape has changed, you have many more tools to start talking about your film. So when you made your film, you're in post-production, create an ecosystem and today's ecosystem could be a Facebook page or uh, Twitter uh, Twitter handle and Instagram uh, to use social media don't put out everything because you know you may not be able to sustain your marketing if you have a festival strategy in mind there's one thing I like to say no one watches your film twice so when when you're pitching your film whether you're applying your film to a festival put your best foot forward do not send an unfinished film yes they all say we are used to watching rough cuts and all rough cut is fine but keep it as close to as as you can it's very rare that you may have a friend as a programmer or something but i doubt it they get sort of flooded with films when a festival is coming four thousand five thousand films to to filter through so uh, there's a good chance that they're not going to watch your film again spamming festival programmers <laughs> doesn't make sense you write them a mail and another mail and 10 mails, you're going to irritate them, you know. So once you've applied, a gentle reminder is fine. Rather than applying to just all the festival, all the festivals, you must know the festival calendar. You must know what is your film about and which festival has a bias towards what kind of films, or if not a bias, but what kind of artistic expression are they known for? Is it, is it a complete art house film or is it a genre film? For example, it's a genre film or, you know, it's, it's a fantastic film. Then you need to go to for the fantastic film festivals. So there is a festival strategy. Ask people, ask questions. Rather than just getting frustrated that you're sending it every, everywhere and it's not getting selected. So a certain film can find a window at a certain festival. As soon as you're happy with your cut and as soon as your sound is... Um, I'm not saying final sound, but at least your BGM is there, your dialogues are clean. So that's very important. Another thing where we generally goof up is, uh, is subtitling. Yes, I think uh, subtitling is very key. Remember, a lot of these people don't speak your language. They're, they're not even English film festivals, right? So that it could be 
in France, in Italy, in, in Germany, or wherever, unless it's American. But, uh, but still, I think uh, how subtitling is done is very crucial. Watch a few of the foreign films, international films, and see how, how sub subtitling is done. Make sure they're not, they're not spelling mistakes. I myself have had my own screenings and where I overlooked or we overlooked something and there was spelling mistakes. It's, it's very embarrassing. So, so don't do that. Talking about sales agents, everyone wants distribution and sales. That's also a route. But right now, picking up from my brother Nikhil that our festival journey started. We are no sales companies, but we managed to uh, syndicate the film. We managed to put the film across, you know, or, or like over 100 festival screenings happen. It's still used for advocacy, educational screenings, um, uh, sensitization process. So know your film strength, strength as in the subject, and then also reach out to those areas where you, you, you think your film can connect. Uh, remember that an emotional connect with the film is the best connect, and they will become your champions. Going forward, uh, you could also collaborate with them, and that's happened with us. People we've collaborated with, um, on our first film, we've continued to collaborate with them. So today from my brother Nikhil to my birthday song, there, there are a lot of people who are common, you know, and uh, directly or indirectly. My sound designer, uh, Arun Nambiar, I worked with him on my brother Nikhil and I'm still working with him um, after many years uh, on my birthday song. So certain people will remain a part of your journey. So that's it for today and I'll be back with more. I hope this is of some value. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.